Hi, it's Ian here. Welcome to More Clients TV Q&A. Today's episode is how to build relationships and get more very senior client executives as clients. So we'll see you after the break. Hi, it's Ian here. Welcome back to another episode of More Clients TV Q&A. Ask Ian stuff about marketing and sales. Today's question is coming from quite a few people from some executive coaches and other people who deal with very senior client executives. And the question is, how do you get through to those very senior executives? Well, the first thing to bear in mind is senior executives are still human beings like the rest of us. Um, but there are a couple of kind of unique characteristics about them. Firstly, in order to get to those senior roles, um, they've usually had to take some time. So often they're a little bit older, which means you probably won't find them playing on Facebook all day long and stuff like that. Of course, there are exceptions. There are some very technologically savvy um, senior executives, but by and large, percentage wise, um, they tend to favor more traditional methods of communication. They're also very time poor. There are more pressures on them than almost any other person in the organization. Everyone wants their attention. They have a whole set of support staff gathered around them to protect them from people trying to get their time. And typically, they tend to rely on a kind of trusted inner circle of peers and support staff or lieutenants who they've mentored over time, who they listen to. So they get people to do things for them and advise them. So for me, there are really two big effective strategies for connecting with and being influential with and winning very senior executives. The first I'll touch briefly on, that's to become seen as a leader in your field. So you're getting them to reach out and find you as the perfect person to work for. So that's about writing a book, doing articles, having an information rich website, videos, etc., doing presentations. So for example, you know, going out and presenting to Vistage, the Academy of Chief Executives and stuff like that. So being seen as a leader in your field, the kind of stuff I talk about in the Authority Blueprint training course. More specifically for, for today, what I'm going to talk about is the second method, which is about using your influence network to get connected by people already in their inner circle, people who they already know and trust. So in the short term, that means sitting down and reviewing very thoroughly your network of people who you believe know you well enough and trust you enough to recommend you to others, or at least introduce you to others. And sometimes an introduction is enough. If you think I'm thinking on a sliding scale, it would be great if they could recommend you to a chief executive, but sometimes just an introduction, just being able to mention the name of someone they already know on an email in the subject line is enough to get you through rather than your email being kind of filtered out by the secretary or by the executive themselves. So um, what you need want to do is to go and do a kind of inventory of those contacts you have, who knows you well enough to introduce you or recommend you, um, do a look on LinkedIn, as I've advised before, to see um, who they know, to see who you might want to get introduced to. Do a LinkedIn advanced search to find the sort of people you're targeting, to see who knows them. And again, who knows me well enough to introduce me. That's your short term goal is to get introductions and connections from your contact network. Longer term, you need to be building that contact network. Um, that really means becoming a leader yourself. So you become a peer. So you're, ne you're networking with and, and working with and spending a lot of time with other leaders. So that means contributing and growing your influence. So, you know, take positions of responsibility in associations or charities, you know, places where you'll be interacting with other leaders doing similar things. Now, don't just do it for marketing purposes. You know, don't just become the, you know, the finance director of a charity because you want to connect with other leaders involved with that charity. And that's not really going to work. And you probably drive your mad doing it but if you already support a charity if you're really really interested in um, a professional association and you really want to support independent consultants or lawyers or whatever it might be whatever your profession is then go the extra mile and really contribute and take positions of responsibility in that particular association or charity or event or whatever it might be volunteer take up those roles and while you're there Use that opportunity to network um, and build your relationships with other leaders there. And then kind of go back to step one, which is looking at the relationships you have and seeing who would introduce you to others. And really networking is not about going to, to formal events. Networking is about 
building your network, building relationships, taking every opportunity possible. You know, you're already at a sporting event. Why not introduce yourself to the person standing next to you? You never know who they might know, what might come of it. You're standing in a queue, same thing. Or you're more likely to meet the right sort of people if you contribute and volunteer and use your professional skills in some way and others who are contributing and volunteering and using their skills in some way in in equally in kind of equally senior positions and you build your network with them one kind of final tip on this don't neglect more junior people one of the very best ways of building senior executive relationships is to build relationships with junior executives when they've got more time and when they're more open to listening to people who can help them and give them advice and then as they become more senior in the organization and everyone else is being shut up shut off from making initial connections with you you're already in their trusted inner circle so long term that's kind of the best strategy is to form those junior executive relationships and build relationships with them for when they are senior executives that's it for today hope you found that useful if you want to ask your own question make sure you're a subscriber to my emails and just hit me an email and i'll put it on the list and try and answer it as soon as i can cheers